My name is Danny Wang from GrassChinese.com. Welcome to Lesson Five: Taxi to Hotel. Let's go get a taxi. The Chinese word for taxi is 出租车 All these words are in the first tone. It is a good chance to practice saying the first tone. 出租车 Hmm. What's the meaning of that? If you break it down. Chu means out, and zu means hire. So chu zu means something for hire. Che means car. So chu zu che literally means car for hire. This is how to say taxi in Chinese. Chu zu che. Okay, let me try asking where to get a taxi. Chu zu che, zai. 哪里？出租车在那里。谢谢。You are picking it up very fast. It is really amazing to see how you only learned a handful of words, and now you're starting to talk in Chinese. Of course, you know that girl said the taxis are over there. Yes, I used 在哪里。To ask where is, and she replied using "zai na li" for "is over there." Come on, let's go. Chu zu che. Ni hao, ni men chu na li. Ni hao. 我们去这个酒店。好的。Okay, there are good few new words. Let me explain word by word. The taxi driver asked, 你好，你们去哪里？" which means, "Hello, where are you going?" The word 你们 means you plural. 你 you already know means you. Adding men to the end makes it plural. Men is in the neutral tone. So 你们 means you plural. There are many different ways that English speakers say you plural, but the most commonly understood is probably you guys. So do you want to tell me the Chinese words for the rest of the pronouns? Okay, the other ones you haven't learned yet are we and they. These are very easy. Woman, it's word for we. Wo, it's word for I, and by adding men, you make it plural. So, woman means we. I'm noticing a pattern here. Would the word for they be ta with men added to it? Yes, ta is word for he, she, or it. And by adding men, you make it plural. So, tamen is a word for they. Okay, so let me recap all the pronouns now and tell me if I have it correct. Wo means I. Ni means you. Ta means he, she, or it. Yes, that's right. Woman means we. Ni man means you guys. Ta man means they. Yeah, that's it. Now you know them all. Qu is the Chinese word for to go to. It can also mean to live for. It is in the fourth tone. Qu. Q in Pinyin is pronounced Q. This is a combination of a T and a CH sound. Q. This is similar to the pronunciation of cheek in English. You just need a little practice to get this pronunciation perfect. Q. You already know 哪里 which means where. So the taxi driver literally asked, "You guys go where?" So, 你们去哪里 means where are you guys going? 
And what did you say to him? I answered, 你好，我们去这个酒店。Which means, hello, we're going to this hotel. 酒店 it's a word for hotel. What does 酒店 mean if you break it down? 酒 is in the third tone. It means alcohol. 店 is in the fourth tone. It means shop or store. So 酒店 literally means a store for alcohol, which means hotel. <laughs> That's an interesting way of describing a hotel, but I think I will remember it. 我们 means we, and 去 means go. 这个酒店 means this hotel. So 我们去这个酒店 means we're going to this hotel. 这里对吗？对。The driver asked, 这里对吗 ？Which means is this the correct place? 这 as you know means this. And li, you know, already means place. So 这里 literally means this place. This is how you say here in Chinese. 这里对 is in the fourth tone. It's a word for correct. 对 So he asked, 这里对吗 Which literally means here correct. So the taxi driver was asking, "Is this the correct place?" Then I answered, 对 which means correct. 你们到了 Okay, we're here. 到 means to arrive. Four stone. 到 As you know already, 了 is used after a verb to indicate the completion of an action. So 到了 means have arrived. 你们 you know means you guys. So when the driver said 你们到了 he said you guys have arrived. In English, a taxi driver might say we're here, but this is how he said in Chinese. Thank you. This hotel is very good. Yeah, let's get checked in. 再见 Log on to graspchinese.com now to try our free exercises to practice and internalize the new words that you just learned. We have many types of fun and challenging multimedia exercises, as well as a glossary for each of our lessons. You can also create your own learning profile to keep track of your progress. Have fun! See you next time.